story. Okay, good morning. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, let's, uh, let me share this uh, information. Over here, let me show you. Let me close this. How can I move this over? Okay, today we were supposed to finish something that we didn't, did not finish last week. Excuse me. Yes, Neo dice que tenemos que estudiar la unidad 9, 10 y 11. Entonces, eh, estudiamos las unidades 9, 10 y 11 completas, solo eso. Yes. You know, you, you only need to study what we study. You don't need to grab the, the book and study the book. I am going focus only on grammar, basically, because I, I, I didn't want to talk about the topic the real topic about uh, because the, the thing is here in, in in this in this subject we mix we, we we use the English the grammar in context right so basically the topic is about grammar okay but listen listen you need to read once twice three times the sentence it might you might think that is correct Okay, but maybe it isn't. So you remember the test you're gonna find two two sections. Okay, true or false, and the first section is uh, correct or incorrect. You have to write if the sentence is correct or is incorrect. And the second, those are 13 questions, correct or incorrect. And the second part is uh, multiple choice. I'm gonna write a sentence. It could be present, simple present. It could be present perfect. It could be question top, or, or it could be uh, what the other uh, passive voice sentence in present or in past. Then you have to decide which one. In the second part, you need to decide which one of the four options is the one that fits in that blank. Okay, uh, area. So you don't need, basically you don't need to grab a start studying here. The only thing that you need to study is basically the grammar. Okay, understood guys? Because I, I didn't want it to study about, for instance, in chapter, chapter 11, job fact, faction, uh, job satisfaction. I didn't want to talk about these topics or the previous one was about the technology, a thing, question like that, fashion style, things like that, no. I just wanna only to support only for this for this occasion because you're gonna have another test. It's gonna be a, a forum. A forum is like uh, the teachers uh, load up a question or maybe it's gonna be a video. I'm gonna put a video in the system and then you have to make comments at least five lines comments about the question. I'm gonna I'm gonna write over there. Regarding the video that you are going to watch, I'm going to load up a video and then I'm going to ask you a question and then you have in that same um, in that same um, section, you have to write your opinion or answer the question that I'm going to ask. That's going to be week number 10. That is going to be on week number 10. Okay? So don't worry. Next week, I'm going to load up the video with the question. So I just wanted to... Uh, let you know what you have what you have in advance. Okay, so today we have this assignment guys Do you have any question about to, tomorrow's test? Anybody anybody has any question? Anybody else? Okay, nobody else. Perfect. Excellent. But now today, I mean yesterday uh, last week we we couldn't finish this page 80 reading number one two and number three now before we start that section I'm gonna play a video that I'm gonna take it as an introduction of next week topic. Next week topic is about that's chapter 12, and the topic it talks about marketing research and the grammar section. We're gonna talk about first conditionals. Okay. Now, as an introduction of marketing research, and maybe maybe the topic for our forum 
it's going to be about this topic, about this topic, this matter, marketing research. Okay? Okay. Let's play it, guys. And then we'll discuss the things that we haven't done. Every day, new products appear in the world. An endless stream of things, all promising to make life better, all, so it seems, increasing choice. Marketing research plays a central part in this process, but what is it? The origins of marketing research go back to the election of the American president, Andrew Stonewall Jackson, in the 1820s, the first political opinion poll. But commercial marketing research began to take shape with the growth of mass manufacturing. Companies needed to sell their products to vast numbers of people. This spawned a boom in advertising, concentrated on the new medium of television. Have you heard the news that's going round? Hoover, Hoover have gone and found the washing machine that means the end, the end of wash day. Wash day? Just forget it. See the most advanced washing machine ever made. The automated Hoover Keymatic. As advertising budgets went through the roof, so companies began to question how useful all this spending was proving. Research techniques were developed to answer this question. Most early marketing research was carried out by advertising agencies, but today it's a big business in its own right, served by a mini industry of specialist marketing research firms and an army of people with clipboards. Are you happy with the amount of choice that you have here? Yeah, it's reasonably good. Yeah. Um, I really like it. Uh... How important is the brand to you? Brand isn't important, really. Do you always buy that brand? No, not really. Well, can I just ask you, why in particular did you buy that brand of product? Because I've tried it and it's good. Okay, guys. This episode is brought to you by Dashlane. No, 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 I'm not going to watch that episode. Okay, now let's come back over here. Now remember, it's going to be about our marketing research. A very interesting topic. I mean, not for you, but that's my first career. I studied marketing back in the university. This is teaching is my second career. Okay, around sales, around sales. Okay, now, let's move on. We need to complete a page 80, guys. Reading says, read the list of companies below, which ones are shops, which one has factories, which one work mainly with money? Okay, now let's do it. Sunday time, best big companies to work for in the UA, UK. Now number one, what kind of company is that? Anybody? There are three options. Shops, factories, or work with mainly with money, says I mentioned. Anybody? It works mainly with money. Okay, number one, national wide. Do we agree on that, guys? Yes. Okay, move your move your, your head, move your head. Yes or no, teacher? No, move your head. Okay, excellent. Now number two. Shop. Yes, definitely. It says supermarket. As a, this is the one that I think we discussed last week, the video that I watched, that we watched, sorry. Number three, KPMG. Anybody? Is that a factory? Money? Yes. I work with money. Over here in Panama, we have that, uh, uh, that, uh, that company. That's a company by like KPM that basically they some auditores auditan y eh, trabajan en contabilidad, accountants. Number four, Aronategui. What kind of company is that? 
the car phone warehouse is they are what they are jobs they are factories or they are they work with money um they are jobs See? no 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 it says uh mobile telecom retailers retailers they could be shop car phone warehouse yes i think they are they are a shop because they sell it it's not a factory maybe it could be a factory anywhere okay number five another retailer that is a shop then and number six aha uh -huh. number six what factory. kind of yes definitely is it's a factory definitely it's a factory okay okay let's move on say number two read the article and make notes about the companies example national y keeps bonus as good managers works with the community okay now let's begin anybody i want to hear at least at least at least you we have right now you are 24 at least i want to hear at least nine okay and from the different there are six i want to hear six different definitions that you found over here like the examples anybody what do we have to say each each one or no you have to on the shoes no only shoes one only for instance if you did you did you did all of them right then you okay give me the give me your answer for number one uh, 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 so, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, number one is done already. They gave the example with national. So number two, what about number two? Asda. Number two, anybody? Asda, Asda. Anybody? Asda and runs a team where staff can make suggestions to their MB and is family friendly, don't have high salaries, but staff like their benefit scheme. There are daily bonding sessions, and most staff feel their colleagues are helpful. There are national sport tournaments, parties and theater trips, and managers come from the workforce. Okay, uh, okay let's move on. Uh, number three. Oh, I spoke number three. Oh, number four then. Number four. Anybody? Yeah, I don't think he spoke already. Number four. Anybody? Paula Diaz, go ahead. Number four. What did you got for number four? I put Carphone. Uh -huh. Carphone Warehouse give bonuses. Forums with managers and staffs believes in its values and that their contribution is very successful. Very good, thank you. Now number five, mother mother care mother care. Anybody mother care? Number five. Uh, family friendly offers career. Year breaks of, of two years. That's it? Yeah. Yes, it's just, just like a little. Okay, uh, we couldn't hear properly, but anyway. Uh, anybody else has another for number five? Anybody for number five? Are you doing it right now? Ruiz. Did you do it, Luis? Yes. Give me your answer for number five. Mother care. <laughs> okay. Um, Lam, give me your answer, Lam. 
What number five, mother care. The same, they're family friendly and offer career breaks. Okay. Uh, Brianna, give me your answer for Cadbury. Sweeps. The stuff that's for child and are very charitable. Uh -huh. I couldn't hear properly, but anyway, I said, uh huh. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Okay, now let's move on. Remember, you have to complete this in your notebook. I'm going to check your notebook as soon as we, we go back to school. So please, please be organized. Be organized and be responsible. You need to complete all this in your notebook, Mr. Ruiz, okay? Now number three, it says, um, ah, find this verb in the article and match them with the word and phrase. Okie dokie. Number one goes with what? The make suggestion. With letter B. Make their training path, right? B. B. C or B? B. Letter D. Oh, D, D as a, as a Denmark, as a Denmark. Yeah. D as a Denmark, okay. Make, it says, make suggest, suggestions, suggestions, okay. Number two, of first what? Career break. Okay, of first career breaks. Number three. Number three, Pimentel. Express appreciation. Express appreciation, she says. Okay. Number four, feel. Bustamante, feel. Uh, feel their colleagues are helpful. Feel their colleagues are helpful. Is that correct, guys? Okay. Number five, choose, choose what? Huh? I couldn't hear that. Choose their training path. Okay, choose their training path, right. And the last one, that's, the last one is for Alexander Aguilar. I can't see, I cannot see. Alexander Aguilar, what's the answer for believe what? Believe in company value. Yes, excellent. Very good, very good. Do we have any other assignment over here? Ah, uh, no. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 83. No, I didn't assign you number 83. Let me see something. Let me see something. Hold on, hold on. That was one, two, and three. Okay. 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 Let me shut it down. Okay, guys, now listen. Okay, this is all for today, okay?